I'm Greg Miller from Kind of Funny, and you're watching Lewis Menchachachachas YouTube channel where he muses Menchachachachali. Aren't you glad you gave us all this money? Yeah, hell yeah. You get stuff like that. You know, Drake says YOLO. YOLO indeed. Go. Oh. You're, you're the only one still saying no, you understand that? Well, yeah, and then there was also that other song that he did with Nicki Minaj. Which one's that? Moment for Life. At the end of his verse. Me, me. At the end of his verse, he's like, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Well, that's, see, that's a much better one. Why, why didn't he say the smart thing first? So everybody can remember the smart thing. Then you got YOLOs everywhere. Remember Rolos? It's a bad candy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Welcome to the Music with Menchaca show. This is the conversational podcast where, in this case, three friends gather around this table, each with their own random topic of discussion to hash out for your amusement. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome content. I am your host, Louis Menchaca, and I want to remind you to be a part of the conversation. Comment below with any reactions to anything that was said, as well as, of course, any reactions. No, I said reactions. I was going to say any reactions to anything that was said, as well as, of course, any future uh, topics for discussion that you want us to talk about. Uh, joining me to my right, we have the radical thinker, Eric. Hey. I, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I, have to, I have to say something. I yeah, forgot. That's yes. how a podcast <laughs> works. And then ne next to him, we have a very special guest. We have from We Game Here, Fame Entertainment. What's going on, guys? If you're new to me from the from this channel, hello. For my subscribers, this is Fame Entertainment. Positive, negative feedback is always welcome. And you guys like to tell my people, let your voice be heard. There we go. All right. Hey, uh, could you uh, you could you unscrew this right here, like this piece right there on your mic, right there, right uh, there. Yeah. Unscrew it. Yeah. And then just unscrew it a little bit. There you go. There we go. Now tighten it up. Yeah, so so much for uh, audio check, yeah. right? I mean, you sounded pretty good, though. I just wanted to make the uh, make sure that the... I sound good? Uh, the mic better. was in his mouth, is what you're okay. saying? You gotta... The, you gotta, you gotta the, the mics are one-directional, so they're perfectly... Oh, like, yeah, you told me that last time yeah. I did the... Uh, I did a Google Hangout with this yeah. mic, and you was like, talk right into it. So I'm like, I'm like robot penis in, in my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Just to, uh, to get some more uh, stuff out the way here, so I'm going to have... Uh, uh, Fame's Twitter handle up on top. You know, you can follow him on Twitter. I'm at Chocolaka88, and uh, of course, I'm up. I'm open. I'm open for emails uh, directly to me. So, boomchocolaka4 at gmail.com to email me directly if you want to have like a really long, uh, you know, free form essay about anything that you want to talk about. I'll address it on the show. And uh, lastly, the um, uh, I'm on everything pretty much. Uh, Nintendo Network, PSN. Uh, XBL now. There we go. Switch. I was waiting for it. Chocolaka 88 all across the board. Boom. Easy to remember. All right. So let's go ahead and start the show off. So um, I'm going to normally... Oh, fuck, I'm going to censor that shit. <laughs> <laughs> fame. Normally fame, I would... Uh, anytime I have a guest on that's in for the first mm -hmm. time, I would have them go first on topics. But I guess just to uh, time myself with uh, the, the kind of funny uh, stuff... I'm going to go ahead and go first on my topic. Oh, it's going to basically... Oh, do you have a topic now? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Usually you go last okay. and it's the worst topic that you know that oh, you yeah, have. Well, that, well, I'm, I, I'm, coming, I'm coming hard. It's time, it's time to take off your own show <laughs> now. It's time, to, it's time to take over. No, I think I started the very first episode one. I was the first topic. Bull I crap. had a good one. And I Bull good crap. One. I'm going to have to look back on it because I don't remember that. Episode one, it was the cartoons suck these days. And then we went on and then it was on about existentialism and shit. Oh, like yeah. We so were, I do remember that. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Plus, I had some good topics, man. Come on. So, really? So you got, so you got your balls back now. I'm, I got I'm my proud balls. of you. All right. I'm proud of you. So, uh, as mentioned before, with the whole kind of funny stuff, uh, I was I, a week ago. I, yeah, a about week ago, a about week ago. A little over a week ago. You got you to say about a week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> okay, about a week ago. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. I went to, uh, I traveled to San Francisco, and I recorded a, uh, um, a podcast called The Game Over Greggy Show. Uh, that features uh, former IGN employees Greg Miller and Colin Moriarty, um, as well as uh, some people. I like the last name Moriarty. It sounds pretty badass. I know, right? Yeah. Shit. Man, I should change my name to that in Moriarty. <laughs> it's like the fucking Sherlock Holmes yeah. up there. Going Wait a exactly. minute, what's your last name? Oh, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to trick him. <laughs> you, son of, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, but um, so basically my topic is basically like uh, the talking about the whole trip and as a whole and like basically going over the details and stuff so i guess uh chime in with any questions about anything that happened because there was i know you have questions about the xbox event that i went to but is it really a topic or just a story that you're story time give, give, give us the story first <laughs> all right. man all right so in september 
the uh, guys opened up a Patreon web web page or whatever, and they're like. Here's a tier for two thousand dollars. If you do two thousand dollars, you will be a, a, a guest on the Game Over Greg. Wait, show. you didn't try to barter? You didn't say wait fifteen hundred, <laughs> fifteen hundred and fifty yeah. cents and change. Yeah. You should have bartered. Bartered. You save some money. Yeah. <laughs> well, with no way of contacting them, by the way, I have no no uh, email or anything like that. Uh. It's like okay, but yeah. So I did the two thousand dollars. I was like, fuck it, man. Got to balling. Got to uh, live life to the fullest. I got twenty thousand. It's two thousand, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. My my good friend Eric, consult. I consulted you. I wasn't life. the first, by the way. I was not the first okay, to be consulted. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's true. Actually, you weren't the first call, but you were the one that answered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Which is surprising because Eric never answers my calls. Oh, uh, I've been I've been answering your calls lately. Lately, yeah. Yeah, yeah you call me. It was like ten o'clock at night. Hey, hey, fame. Um. So I got this thing going on, right? I'm like, Lewis, I'm, I got to be working like six hours. What the fuck do you want, man? I got this thing going on. I'm balling now, so I spend this money. It's like, all right, just go do it. Just go do it. <laughs> and so um, there, there were people judging me for this decision because like, you just don't just drop $2,000. And then I'm like, okay, well, you know, there was 50-50 split between people that were disappointed in me, like my decisions, my, the, my bad life choices. And then there were people like, you know what? Good, good job, Lewis. You you go do your thing. You live your dreams. You you follow your passions. You do something that most people don't even do with their lives and actually live life for themselves and stuff. Doing things that are like they're passionate about. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I was like, yeah, I'm just. I did not say that. No, no, no. No, no these are other people. I'm just just saying in, in, in a full like in, all encompassing. These are like these different uh, comments that I've been getting. And so are those the same guys that might spend 200 bucks at a strip club? Like, <laughs> get on you about 2,000 bucks to have fun. Yeah, actually, yeah, like probably, <laughs> probably. Damn. People waste money every day, every day on complete nonsense. I mean, it would have been stupid not to spend two grand. Money, like I told you, I tweeted you out when you was out there. Money was spent. Hashtag balling. <laughs> balling. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, my Twitter was blowing up over there, man. I, I, just, I was telling uh, Fame earlier, like I had this uh, person tweet at me, is like. It's like you, sir. You are the definition of what baller feels like. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. And then, um, but ultimately, the whole trip was uh, was really uh, cool because I mean, I hung out with Greg all five days. I met him. On, I flew in on Sunday, and he took me out to to dinner, and he bought me some drinks. Got well, me a little. Sounds like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like was that an A or an I? Was that an A? What? Drink. He bought you some drinks. Drink. Some drinks. <laughs> yeah. Some some drinks. So he was he was. You a T pain? You were, <laughs> <laughs> he was TV is buying you some drinks. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a very romantic dinner. Yeah, yeah, man. It was a very romantic dinner. We were holding hands, looking in each other's eyes. You know, the the, the, the candlelight. No, I'm just kidding. I've been I've been, <laughs> North, I've been North guy for eight years. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. And so, uh, so we were at a sports bar. Um, you know, we just ordered dinner. He was basically. Uh, I I came to them saying I figured it out. It's like, oh, he's basically just using this time to scope me out to make sure I'm not some weirdo or some creepy guy or whatever. I don't want to kill. To him be fair, I am a creepy guy weirdo. So. <laughs> No, uh, I'm not that anymore. Would he have refunded you the money if you were? <laughs> okay, I'm like, okay, sorry, I don't want you on the show. Like, yeah. Uh, so I guess you know, you know uh, he had to trust me with a lot of stuff. I mean, like, I had to, he trusts me with his his cell phone number and his address and all that shit because he tapes his show off of from his spare bedroom. I'm like, okay, so he basically wanted to make sure everything's on is on the cool, and so that happened on Sunday, and then Monday was the IGN. I went to the IGN office, had a tour. Uh, by uh, N- N- Nintendo uh, lead editor Jose Otero, so that by he was like the reason why I got into IGN was because of him and his uh, Nintendo voice chat, the podcast for Nintendo podcast for IGN, and so that was cool. And I got to see their conference rooms. They had like these uh, game centric themed uh, um, uh, offices, uh, conference rooms. So there was one like based off of Portal, one was based off of Left 4 Dead, and they went one all out with all the tricks and stuff, like all the little blood spatters and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty better. And then the better. arcades, they had like these custom arcade cabinets there. They had all these statues of had that solid snake up, and there was all these uh, like. Was he in a box? No, he was a statue. Like literally, when you open the elevator, it was this. It was and actually no. It was it was a statue of like some knight or something like that. I couldn't figure out what game it was from but then to the right was Solid Snake and I think there was Laura Croft and then I saw a couple of Master Chief helmets there it was pretty good wait you couldn't put it on the Master Chief oh, uh, I think it was a statue oh, wasn't bullshit. it <laughs> I mean I, I, was, I, was, I wasn't fixing to pick it up from the fucking table or whatever like hey thug, hey, thug, hey, mm, thug life man just pick <laughs> it up just put it on I'm like yeah and so and so there was that they had their, their lunchroom is badass because it's like a freaking kitchen and then 
You got the the ping pong table, the air hockey table, the the pool table. I mean, like shit. I mean, I'm surprised they do any work there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with all the arcades and stuff like that, and then and then to mention vending machines are really cheap. They're like twenty five cents for a soda, a can of soda. I'm like, damn. That's cheap, even for California prices. That's like a time machine. It told it used to be twenty five cents. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like you in a time machine, man. Yeah. So um, that happened. He taped us up at noon. Um, I was in the audience, and uh, I probably should have like said something like randomly so that my voice could be heard in the background. But whatever. And then um, up at noon happened. Then after that, it was uh, I saw Troy Baker. Took a picture with him. Oh, by the way, do you? I have. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, have, I have your autograph. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. I got you the autograph. So it's like Eric. I missed you. I would have loved the photo, but somebody got something a little bit better. <laughs> what well, was I could take a photo with him by himself or what? No, you know, just with you, him in it and, and stuff, you know. So you, did you give him a picture of like your chest and tell him to touch your heart? And... <laughs> Tattoo it right there. And then, uh, so yeah, so Troy, that Troy Baker thing happened. We went to, later on, we went to the bar because he performed his uh, his album, but acoustically, with the uh, acoustic version of his album. And then I got a copy of a CD there. He signed it for me. Limited, limited release. Limited edition. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they don't they don't make those CDs. <laughs> First print and that's it. Yeah. Nice, so, nice. And then um after that, Tuesday was um what happened on Tuesday? Oh, the Twitch, Twitch stream. That's right. I was on Twitch. With, uh, you, you didn't tell anyone about that. I mean, I could have watched that. It would have been pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, Actually, you did, you did, you I, I think it was on shit. Facebook. You got I put it on Facebook and on Twitter before. You got really Hollywood. You didn't tag me. I was like, hey, you know. Have oh, fun. yeah. You, didn't tell, you got really Hollywood on me. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah I, was like, yeah, I just tweeted it out. I Facebooked it out like just to blast on any, everyone, but not like anyone. I didn't tag anybody in anything. I just put it out there. And so uh, on the Twitch stream, they were playing uh, this, this game right here, the, the Saints Row 5 right here, Got Out of Hell. And then I was like, okay, they were playing 90 minutes of it. The developer was sitting right next to me, and she was pretty cool, I guess. And then uh, you guess? I, I mean, I didn't really talk to her. Was he a misogynist asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I was being a misogynist <laughs> asshole to her and everything. I'm like, whatever. I don't like you. Damn. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to you. But uh, so they had me doing the comments, the reading the comments, uh, asking questions, and basically they only told me is like, hey, don't pick any like shitty questions or anything like that. Don't pick any negative questions. Like, okay. Just go in there and like, what's up with the fucking frame rate? Man? This game sucks. <laughs> I think the closest the closest thing I did asking to negative questions was I was like feeling a little bad that I asked it because the the comments were like basically calling me. I was like, Lewis is ignoring this question. Like I'm like, okay, I was ignoring it at first because like they were like asking about uh, what's the 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 1080p and what's the frame rate, what's the frames per second on. The they game. want you to tell this by this by I. Huh? They want you to just by looking at it. Hey, what's the no? Because what's they the had the, right, the developer right, right the there. The developer right next to yeah, me. Yeah, so they would know. Oh, I thought they were asking you that. No, question. no, no. Like, That's bullshit. Oh, he's no, picking no. out the, the com- through the comments. Like what question? Ah, yeah, gotcha, through the gotcha. Twitch comments are, are feeding through, and I'm picking out the questions. Uh, yeah, you don't that pick that shit out. And then they had the developer, and then Greg, like right there. And then, like, so I was ignoring that question for a long time, but then they kept asking it. They kept asking. There was different people were asking that question. Because that's what gaming is and then, now. And then, so they were like, uh, um, they were, then they were calling me. I was like, Lewis is ignoring this question. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll ask the question. And so I asked the question, <laughs> uh, and then the developer dodged that question so beautifully. I was like, that was so po- poetic. The way she framed it, the way she answered it was just, it was like, it didn't address anything, but it was so good. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll buy I was it. like, I'll buy it. And then the, qu- the comments were like, she just dodged that question. I'm like, yeah, she did. But I was like, just to be fair, I asked the question. But other than that, it was smooth. But did she tell you what the frame rate and resolution was? Nope. Game? She didn't answer that question. She just said that they were they they did some good stuff with it. That's all. Which which means which means it probably has trouble staying locked at 30 frames per second. Which I'm pretty sure Digital Foundry did a thing about this game, and it was. Yeah. Having trouble standing 30 frames per second on the PlayStation 4, but that's yeah. another story. So, um, but they, they were, I, I was, I was kind enough to like, uh, they allow me to pimp out my channel and my Twitter handle on the, 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 uh, the Twitch stream. And so I got like, I got subscribers during the Twitch stream. Like I came back and my phone had like a bunch of emails. Someone so has described, subscribed to you, subscribed to you. I'm like, holy shit. And then I got all these followers on Twitter and I'm like, holy my God, this is just from the Twitch stream alone. And I was like, okay, this is just the beginning. Um, that happened, and uh, at the end of the Twitch stream, uh, they had two copies of the game, the PS4 and the Xbox One, right next to each other. And these are these are this is a game that this is a copy that was before it came out to the public. So this is a nice early edition, still in the shrink wrap. 
Nice. So I was like, yeah. And so uh, keep it locked on this channel. I might, I'm going to do a giveaway for this. Wait a minute. You, you said I might. You said I might, then I'm going to do it. Are you, you going to do a I'm giveaway? Gonna do, I'm going to do a giveaway, yeah. I'm yeah, like, but I'm none like, of us can win it, of course. No, no, yeah, yeah. Nobody, <laughs> well, I, well, nobody one of, I know. Well, one of us can steal it. <laughs> one of us can steal it, right? Steal it, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna do a giveaway just to help my subscribers' you numbers go up. Let's say, let's, yeah, let's do that. Let, let the record be shown that Music with Machaki is now an X-Bot. <laughs> <laughs> they want to know that. Yeah, so at the end of the, 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 the Twitch stream, at the very end, when they had the two copies up, and then they were like, Greg said to me, he was like, uh, this is during on, on air and everything, he was like, uh, um, I'm gonna keep the PS4 one because I want the PS4 version. And of then, course, I'm then, not. I, you know what? <laughs> Luke, I am not surprised, surprised that he Greg. wanted the PS4 Greg, version. Yeah. Oh, so he's only like he was only like the senior editor for Play, PlayStation on IGN for yeah how many pretty, years? Yeah. Uh, so then he's like, he's like, hey, Lewis, uh, do you have a, an Xbox One? I'm like, yeah, I do. And then like, uh, and then I think I. I think I answered by saying, yeah, I have all the consoles. I think that's how I answered. I was like just casually saying, yeah. All the consoles. <laughs> and so, and so, and there's like, here you go. It's like, you can have it. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, yeah, I was not expect. that was completely surprised. Like, I didn't know I was getting the game. I really didn't. And so, uh, I right before I closed the laptop. But you secretly wanted it. No, actually, I wasn't, I was. Uh, didn't care for it? I mean, I've never played a Saints Row game. I said on the Twitch stream, I never played a Saints Row before. Mm. So I'm not fixing to jump in. I mean, I saw the the gameplay and it looked pretty cool. It looked like Infamous and it looked like Bayonetta just merged together a little bit. I'm like, okay, I can do, it. I can dig it. But yeah, my I mean, the time is a is a survival thing. I already have a backlog backlog that's just yeah, so much, you have a crazy backlog. A crazy ass backlog. So I'm not gonna add this to it. So and since it's already shrink wrapped and it's uh it's an early edition, just fucking give it out. Let me, let me. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so it's. But I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna just make some simple rules where you just subscribe to the channel and then you share it with your friends and you have to prove to me, in some kind of question or whatever that I, I'll ask. How did you? How did, how did you find this channel? No, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say a question like that. Bintails, if they answer the question correctly, then I know that they're watching the show. I know that they watch the maybe, content. Maybe maybe a topic that we did before. Yeah. Like or find, like find like, a video, find something in, in the dead smack middle somewhere. Yeah. Mm. I was. I'll, I'll ask a question that's like you have to watch the show in order to actually know the answer. And that way, that way, they'll just I'll just uh, select a, uh, a winner at random and be like, here you go, I'll ship it to you. Boom. Wait a minute, are, are you gonna pay for shipping? Yeah, I'll pay for the shipping. It's only like, it's like three, three bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah. Ballin'. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. USPS. USPS. Yeah, flat rate shipping and everything. Uh, so, but right when I was closing the the laptop to, because uh, uh, the the Twitch stream was over, mm -hmm. uh, they, the the people on the chat were like, "Jesus, how much money does this guy have?" And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah," because not only did I say I had all the consoles, but then they I they I introduced myself by saying I was a two thousand uh, dollar you know person that backed them oh, up. Were you the only one that did this? Yeah, so far I'm the only one to date. Wait a minute. So when they did the whole. Put it out there, two thousand. Were they looking for just one particular person? No, at the time or it's still open to the public. And you're the only person so that far. That bit, that, that bit. Oh, okay. Nice. It's still open to the public. The way it works is it's on a monthly basis. So all you have to do is one time, and then next month you get out of that tier, and then somebody else can go in and do it. But if they were, they, I didn't. I honestly did not know that it was going to be nobody was going to do it. I did it thinking that it's going to be a should, group this, of people. There was going to be like it was going to be a, like a long wait line, a wait time or whatever. I thought that. So you got the star treatment since you were solo dolo. Yeah. Well, nice. also, yeah. That's that was probably the better thing about going solo. Like I was on my you know solo adventure. I was not beholden to anybody's schedule but my own. Nice. Good. Nice. And on top of that, like because it was just me, like it was easy to uh, hang out with them because they don't. I, I didn't have a, an entourage with me or anything or anybody with me to, you know, whatever. And so. Uh, are you are you gonna show them the shirt? Oh yeah. Can they can they can they this see is, the shirt? Uh, this is the next day. This is Wednesday. This is, oh, oh this is Wednesday. Saw this, so this so far. Just one Tuesday. day. This is Tuesday. Oh geez. I'm man. on Tuesday. So, but then whenever the, uh, the one of the, the funny things about the Twitch stream, the chat, I rem always remember is right before I close it out when they say, that, how much money does this guy have? But then somebody uh, uh, rep replied by saying, uh, this guy clearly gets his money by selling drugs. <laughs> and you were like, oh. damn. I'm like, yeah. What's a drug of choice, by the way? Uh, obviously, the, the, the Heisenberg one. <laughs> so, man. Uh, <laughs> Crystal, Crystal man. man. Yeah, the Heisenberg. <laughs> I smoke that all the time. <laughs> yeah, you got to sell that. That's the one you got to push. Bam, and so Wednesday was the uh, Xbox event, and so um, I sold. I signed the non-disclosure. I'll have like an image up right here All of the non-disclosure. Non-disclosure agreement. You're going, yeah. you're going to put the whole thing up there. Yeah, I'll just put an image of it. I'll just, I'll just like redact my signature, and then there you go. Okay. Uh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, um, the yeah the Xbox One event. It was, it was really cool. I was like. 
It was just this giant loft is what it was. And it was, it had like 20 Xboxes like, like lined up on counters, on tables. And there was like a little like open living room thing for like the press conference. Like they had all the media journalists there. And then like to the back was like the interview room. So that way they can have the developers, uh, you know, sit down for an interview on camera with the, uh, the media people that they invited. And then to the right was this bar, this open bar where you can just get any drink you want. And all these sandwiches that were so damn good. Like I've never tasted bread like that. Before. Really? Just bread. Like just the bread was so good. I was like, damn. Rich people bread. It was rich people. <laughs> that shit was rich was people bread. Wonder bread. I rich people bread. <laughs> they, the bread was seasoned with something I've never tasted before. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. So you didn't like? It wasn't like a loaf. You stuck your hand in, like searching through no, the middle. No, they were. It was like this craft servicing. So they had like this tray, and they had like these square cut sandwiches that were toothpicks. And so they had the... With the, the crust off of it and everything, I'm yeah, sure, right? Yeah, yeah. Rich people sandwiches. <laughs> Rich people sandwiches. And so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, this is so Pinky good. Pinky out. You did. Like, <laughs> you mean... <laughs> and so uh, that that happened. So they had like the 45-minute presentation. So they showed Ori in the Blind Forest, right? Nice. Yeah, I'm wearing the shirt. And I'm this is to steal that shirt. On the way out, they got all this swag, so... Or swag as swag. Swag. Swag is, I don't think it's a word. Swag. 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 What's swag? Is that it's, new? Is that rich people swag? No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, I thought, is it swag or swag? I thought it was swag. Like swag, like swagger? Yeah. It's see, swag. I thought, I thought swag is what you have. Like when you, when you, you have swag whenever you have swagger? You have swagger, yeah. When you have, when you have swag, you're like, you're a badass. You're like, oh, I'm, sw- I'm, I'm swag. Let's find out. Not necessarily, not necessarily. That's I differentiate between Dick, swag, swag is what you get on the way out. Swag is not a word. I, I've never heard swag. Go look it up. <laughs> go to the Urban Dictionary. I've never go heard of swag. <laughs> that's why, that's how new. I differentiate. Swag. It. Swag is what you get, and swag is what you have. What do you mean by what you get? Is what you get on the way out, like like door prize, and like oh. like you know gifts. Like, gifts. I call them gifts. Oh, he is actually right. You're it full is of shit. Sh- it is swag. <laughs> it is swag. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yes. Yes. And apparently you, you it's get also swag. marijuana as well. Yeah, you get free swag on the way out. And so, yeah, so they had the, the t- I had two shirts. I got one for the uh, State of Decay. No, wait. Uh, yeah, it was State of Decay. And then this is Ori in the Blind Forest. And it's got like little Microsoft Studios like right here on there. So the camera can't see it that well, but I'm pretty sure. But yeah, Microsoft Studios. And uh, uh, so. I got to do a hands-on with the demos of uh, of uh, uh, the games. I didn't do uh, that roller coaster one, uh, Scream, Scream Ride. Ride. I didn't do that one because I, I should have. But I was uh, as soon as I was gonna go to do Scream Ride, they were Greg and them were doing um, interviews like on the interview room, and I wanted to. I was trying to uh, uh, get myself on camera. I'm like, hey, can I jump? Well, in? I know, I know for sure. My subscribers who've come over here, they're gonna they want to know about Ori and the Blind Forest. Okay, yeah, I was in about going to that too. Um, the game is fucking awesome. Like I loved it. It was this combination of like we're like Super Metroid and Mario Galaxy and uh, um, what's that other game? Uh, fuck. Uh, the, you have to the describe one? it. Okay, here. it's the one with Ubisoft, and then they had a um, the UBR game that has the same engine as Reman. And uh, it's like this princess. Uh, no, mm-hmm. I, I have no uh, idea what you're talking about now. You lost me a princess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, fuck. I can, I can probably look it up that fast. Fucking kill time. <laughs> uh, let's see. You, you can keep on talking. I'll look it up. No. Okay. Just I can just just say UB Art Games and stuff, and then it'll come up. There's a list. UB Art Games. All right. So it's called. Uh, Child of Light. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So basically, my whole thing was uh, like Super Metroid, Mario Galaxy, and Child of Light had a three way. And then a baby comes out of that. And it was Ori in the Blind Forest. It was Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. So, nice. so it was so good. Like it had, it looked like Child of Light and it had like the, but then like it had these gravity defying sections that were kind of like Mario Galaxy esque and then their, their floaty jumps and then jumping to these platforms that were really weird and stuff. And then they had like, it's this giant world that map that's just so huge. It's like Super Metroid. You have to go, you have to backtrack a lot when you have like these power ups. So what? Go. So what you're saying is probably be the best twenty twenty dollar game of the year. Oh hell yeah! Not Dude, even close. Not, right? Yeah, that I was like, I was surprised. It was twenty dollars, and I was like, okay. So they gave us the scoop uh, during the presser. They gave us all the release dates 
and the pricings for every all three games that were shown, Scream Ride, Ori and the Blind Forest, and State of Decay. And so that was not public information at the time. So I was getting, we were getting the scoop on. And so when the embargo lifted, all the outlets were reporting like had just broke news. Yeah. But it was already known to all these press people about a week in advance. I was like, oh, that's cool. So that's how it works. You get it, you get it early, but you have to hold it. You know, you, you know how hard it was not to pull the habit knowing you for almost 10 years card? They said, I have an NDA. I was like, fuck your NDA. You know, you're like 10 years. You don't fucking tell me, man. It was you were going to ask me? I was going to pull that like, card, dude. It was so hard to pull that card. I'm going to say, how, uh, something, how, they don't know, know it was him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. The, uh, I didn't talk about it until Tuesday. I was like holding on to it. I was like, I'm holding it inside. Everyone was asking me, but I was like, mm. I, and, then, and then you didn't show up. You didn't show up to my place of work. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Lewis coming today. NDA is over with. I'm about to pick his. I'm gonna pick his brain. If you don't, I'm gonna stab the shit out of him with this needle. He didn't show I up. Fucking, I fucking. I should have showed up twice. But I, nah. That first one was my fault. The second one was not as my fault because I didn't even go to class that day. I was fucking overslept. I was like, shit. And that's why I didn't go there because I was. I would remember it too. I was like, shit. I was gonna be pissed. Oh, Fame is gonna be pissed. Fame is gonna be pissed. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna let's read that. Yeah, that shit. beep that out. Yeah. Fame is gonna be pissed. I'm like, okay. But uh, that's the game to want. That like that is the game to get. Day one, or in the blind forest. It was so good. It was it was so atmospheric. The music was the mood was so good. Um, there was just I really didn't have any problems with it. I was I didn't want to. I played the whole demo for like the entire like half hour nonstop. That good. It was that good. I didn't awesome. want to. I literally only reason why I got up is because the demo was over. I was like, oh shit, I beat the demo. Get out of here. <laughs> like, yeah. And so and so when I went I went over to uh to State of Decay and that game was glitchy. And the developer, Jeff Strain or whatever his name, I, I, I think I, that's I got it right. Jeff something. Uh, he was like he, got, he was so kind. He was like right sitting right next to me and he was helping me out, walking me through, answering questions. So you and did, then, you didn't play the first one then. The first time you played Okay. No, that was my first time ever playing State of Decay. I told him that and we were going back and forth, but he was kind of surprised cuz I was able to pick up stuff without him telling me because I just play games. Gamers. I'm a gamer, yeah. You're a gamer, you can pick it up. I can and play. pick it up. I knew hey, it's I knew. shiny. You must pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew certain like map controls without him telling me, like, oh, so the select button it's gonna pull up, pull up the menu or the map. The map of the world. Um so, you know, that was cool. Uh it wasn't it was he was uh, apologetic and saying like, yeah, the um the game is is still we're still working on it. We're still working on polishing up the, the glitches. Um we're a really small team. And all that stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. And I was, I was, I wasn't hating the game. I didn't, I didn't not like it, but I didn't love it either. It was like, okay, it's a good game. Yeah, that was my thought. It's like lukewarm. It's, it's a pretty good game. I wouldn't buy it day one, but, um, you know. I mean, it, I mean, when it, when it first released on the 360, it wasn't a big title. It, it just caught on. As so, it went. Yeah, I mean, the the game, it just, people just picked, caught on to it. It wasn't a big, a big major release, so. It wasn't even the summer of arcade, was it? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't think it was. I think it was 2013 or something like that. Yeah. But uh, the people who have it on the 360, they can upgrade it for 20 bucks. The people who don't, don't have it, it's 40, it's right? 30. Is it, thir- is it 30? It's 30? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. It's $30 for the thing, and that was pretty cool. So $20 for the people who already own it. Um, and all, and all, their, like all their stuff carries over, right? Is it, is it a carryover or no? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't remember that part. Oh. But it was I, it was a release date in April. I don't have one on top of my head, but it was April something, and I think it made April twenty something or something like that. I don't know. But well, um, I mean, or is what really matters, right? Yeah. Mar- March eleventh. Yeah, March eleventh. Or is what matters. Got yeah. that on my calendar. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that bitch. <laughs> and then like, that's a that's that's a game that I will, I will probably beat that game. I will just straight up. I'll get all my gamer points from that game <laughs> alone. Nice. Uh, and then so Thursday was the uh, oh wait hold on Wednesday. Wednesday was Xbox, Xbox event. Xbox event, so you're on Thursday. The night. Tuesday, or I was gonna say back backtracking on Tuesday night. I just real quick, just as a side note, Tuesday night they took me out to dinner. That was cool. I took a picture. Got like twenty six thousand hits on Twitter for that picture. Looks nice. Sweet. And then Thursday was the day we taped the Game Over Reggae show, and uh, so I got there. They were doing a Let's Play of Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were doing a, a Let's Play of Smash Brothers. I wanted to to j- just jump on it. I wanted to get on there and whoop their ass because I knew Smash like, Brothers. That, that's your shit, right? Yeah, that is that is my shit. And I was gonna I was gonna play that, but didn't I just watch them play? They do their Let's Plays, um, and that was the first time I saw Greg, uh, you know, like frustrated or angry. Like I saw, 
from, from losing? No, no, from not from losing because from sucking. No, no. Uh, <laughs> he was. They were. They were doing. They recorded multiple let's plays. They did the Tower Ascension, and they did Smash Brothers, and then because they were from like PS4 to Wii U, then they were gonna go to PC or 360 or whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure there was no Xbox present. I'm sure. No, they have an Xbox One what? in their house. Oh, I, I, that's shocking. Yeah, they're they're Mind not like yeah, blown. they're not like oh yeah, fuck it, fuck Xbox. No, no, like, they have a 360 and a PS and an Xbox One. They they just it's what they cover is what IGN hires or, or pays them to cover yeah. is understandable. Is PlayStation understandable? But, <laughs> <laughs> just, so, yeah. but they had a 360 controller, and so they were trying to do a let's play of uh, of oh, I am bread. Oh, um, I've heard, I've seen that, and people get so frustrated with yeah. the controls. It's so yeah. hard. It's yeah. terrible. And so, it's terrible. so you only game on PC, right? Yes, only on PC. Yeah. Are you are you are you an actual PC gamer? One of those like I'm I'm better than you. Elite PC, a yeah, PC elitist. Yeah, I'm better than you. I'm, a, I'm just a PC gamer here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, you're just a P- okay. <laughs> I whatever. shit on consoles. <laughs> oh, okay. Here Here's go. the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, Here's the bullshit. <laughs> 4K, 60p. 1080p, 30p. 60p. Oh, that's pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> <laughs> 60p. Yeah, so that the uh, they were so what happened was after Smash Brothers they were tearing down and like setting up for their next let's play because they were recording them all back to back before we started the the podcast and so they were Greg was trying to uh, figure out how to capture and record he was having audio problems with the recording of uh, I Am Bread and so he took an hour to like go and I'm like sitting there and it was. I'm not going to say it was awkward because I wasn't really paying any mind to it, but I could tell, like, I, that's when I, I knew, I knew after, like, I had suspected that he was getting angry and pissed. Like, he was just, like, the anger was just building up. But then when I saw, whenever uh, uh, his dog, Portillo, was barking because, like, every no- noise outside, like, he, make, he makes him bark. And so he was, like, uh, whenever he, like, snapped at Portillo, and then, like, I was, like, Portillo! And then uh, I think yeah, when he grabbed his neck, and he like looked at him dead in the eyes, like I, I was like, <laughs> like Portillo, stop. And cue then cue the in the arms of the angel song, right? <laughs> <laughs> of the cute animal, Santa Maria, Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah, the cue cue the music, right? <laughs> Shit. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it wasn't like anything bad, and we just uh, he was just uh, we even like mentioned it during the podcast because immediately after that, let's play. Then we went and switched over and we did the uh, game over Greggy show, and he was like. Yeah, he kind of flubbed the like the way I kind of like sometimes mess up the intro. He hissed at the intro. Like Greg knows the intros like memorized. He has it down pack. He said it, he says it in his sleep. I'd imagine. Don't know that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, he yeah, had a sleepover. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we flubbed the intro, and then uh, but he was like, it's been a long day. Like that. Like he was he was talking about what happened prior, and I'm like, yeah. But with the whole Game Boy Greggy show, uh, my impression. I don't know if I did. If I was that good, like, I don't know if I got to talk as much as I wanted, and I don't think I was. I left a, an impression. Like, I don't like whenever you're gonna be the first one to be you know, the, the fifth guest from the Patreon, and you you're gonna be the one that they compare you to afterwards. So if there's a second person who does that two thousand dollars, that person's performance is gonna be compared to mine. I wanted to set the bar. Well, every time you do something for the first time, it's always gonna fucking suck. Every time you do something for the first time, it's going to fucking suck. So, I mean, I wouldn't dwell on it too much. I mean, you couldn't. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying you sucked. I'm not. I'm not going you to haven't seen it. You that. haven't seen it. Yeah. Right? yeah. Not until Monday. Not until Monday, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying you suck, but I mean, it's, I wouldn't harp on it. I mean, no one does the first thing great the first time. Well, see. but the You got two grand again. Just fucking do it again, man. <laughs> Just fucking do I'm it right, again. I might do it again next year. And just I'm, walk in with a fucking suit on. Be like, yeah, I'm ready to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. That was the thing, though. I uh, during the Twitch stream, after the Twitch stream, uh, we uh, Greg was complimenting me on how I did on the Twitch stream. He was because you know they were just threw me in there like it was there was no prep, but there was basically the only one thing is like don't pick bad questions. I'm like okay, that was the prep, and literally like I'm just going in there and they're micing me up, and the next thing you know, hey, we're live. I'm like holy, like damn, like that was how fast it was. Do with the whole pick two grand, I'd have been like shitty question. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> I spent two. I spent two grand. I'm gonna say the fuck I want to say, man. Fuck that. 
but um, but he was complimenting on how, on how uh, uh, I was good on camera. Like I'm not, I wasn't bad. Like I was, because I, I mean, doing this, well, you used to be on doing camera. this, yeah, doing this for like freaking eleven tapings prior to even going there, which I've only uploaded like four, and I'm gonna, you know, but yeah, but doing this helped. Like that first, very first episode. Uh, during like the beginning of the first topic, I remember thinking to myself, and I kind of took myself out of the podcast just a little bit because I was thinking, oh my God, this is happening right now. And so now I'm just, this is natural. And I'm like, yeah. And I wanted to, I wanted to go in there and I wanted to be like, say some pretty funny ass shit. I wanted to be very charming. And I don't think I accomplished that. But, and especially considering that I how I'm a, I'm like, how, how so used to I'm doing podcasts, being on camera. Doing that now, but, but I'm like, but I bet you were better off than you would have if you wasn't didn't. doing this yeah, show. Yeah, if you weren't, like I told you, I'm a if my subscribers are watching this, this first time they've ever seen my face. I'm a faceless drone, it is really hard to sit there in front of a camera and be the person you want to be. So, I mean, you can't, I wouldn't dwell on it. I mean, if you without this show, you probably, you probably would have got a fucking boner, you'd have been sweating and shit, you wouldn't <laughs> know what to do, you know? So, yeah, <laughs> just be thankful, yeah, right? I mean, I held my own, and I, I'm not gonna say I had a terrible, shitty performance, I just wanted to be really impressionable, I wanted to be so, like, so charismatic, and I, I, I accomplished some of it, and I was, I was good. I wasn't, they complimented me, I was good, like, they said, yeah, you did good, like, you know, like, and I, and I watched it back again after it was released, and I didn't. I I think I'm being more critical because I don't. When I watched it, I guess seeing myself on screen, it was different than experiencing it from the first person. I'm pretty sure to everyone else, it's, it's fine, dude. And then so when I watched it, I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. Like, oh, okay, yeah. And I and I and then when I watched it, I was like, okay, I said more than I thought I did because I honestly didn't think I I said I I honestly thought I was like more of an audience member. But at the same time, when I'm watching, I was like, okay, so it was it was good. And then the funny thing is uh, the fun, the funniest thing is like I was watching it today earlier today. And the, the the best thing that I will always remember is because I was watching it, I forgot a joke was coming. Like they like I literally forgot a joke. Yeah, pre recorded jokes. Pre- and no, 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 no. It, they they say shit on the fly. Oh, okay. They say shit. there's nothing there's nothing scripted about that show, and so I completely forgot what was said in the show. And when I watched it, it was fucking hilarious, and I laughed. I laughed out loud, but I also laughed on the show, like on camera. <laughs> and so me and myself were both laughing together. <laughs> I was like, that was good. I was like, yeah, I, I won't forget that. I was like, it's cool. I was like, oh yeah, I'm laughing with myself. Cool. Nice. <laughs> and then that was pretty much it. That as soon as the game over, Greggy show done taped. I mean, that was pretty much the end of my vacation because I, after that I walked home, and then uh, I basically Wait, you walked home. Yeah, I didn't want to. I, I to didn't wanna, Texas. No, I had a <laughs> I had an apartment. apartment. I have an apartment. I have an apartment that was about a mile. Mile and a half from their from their place. I set you up in an apartment. No, I got myself. They, no, no, fuck that. They said it's strictly on the on their on their thing. You have to pay for your own flight and your own stay. You have to do that. So not only wait. The so the two grand was just for the experience. It yeah. wasn't including flight and hotel. Yeah. And, yeah. So it was two. Pre- oh shit. It was like thirty five hundred altogether. Baller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, the uh, I, I I rented an apartment and I basically kind of logistically guessed where they lived. And then I like I picked a, a, an apartment that was close to. Explain this renting an apartment. Airbnb people will, like rent uh, rent their spare bedrooms. Oh, so you rented a room? Yeah. Well, no, I rented an apartment because like I was gonna rent a spare bedroom from someone, but then everyone around me continues like, no, you don't know these people. They can be freaking like swingers, or they can be like really creepy people. Like, what the fuck, man? Come what's, on, like, what's, yeah. wrong, what's wrong? What's wrong with swingers? <laughs> Lose been like. It, it, it'd, have been, it'd have been a whole different conversation if you would stay with some fucking swingers. You'd have, it'd been like fifty subscribers, like every two seconds, talking about your swinger vacation. <laughs> so I took, I got an apartment in the solo. I was by myself. I had my own key and everything. So got the apartment, just stayed there. I base, I just walked home. That was the end of my vacation, and uh, I was, I called on my walk home. I called Eric, and we were talking, and I was recapping a little bit of it, but I was holding back some details, and then. Um, I, I woke up the next morning and took a flight out. I actually woke up next morning, got dressed, breakfast, and then took a cab to the airport. And then that was it. Cool. Money well spent, I'm sure. I mean, hell no. I'm not going to regret. I regret nothing. Would you do it again? See, that's the thing. That was, that was that's the kicker. Oh, oh is, it a, is it a one time? I had fun. I wouldn't do it again. And it's a little bit of both. It's a one time like, oh, yeah, I had fun. I just, the, here's, here's what I, my, my whole thing is. If I'm going to do it again, I want to do it bigger. I want to do more. Like I want to. Uh, I'm obviously. I don't want to go alone. I'm not going to go solo. I've already done that. But uh, my my whole thing is, these guys are busy people. Like I'm not. Like it was so 
eye-opening and so mind-blowing how much on they're on their grind. Like, I, it, they, it, it's just, it's like seeing behind the curtain is what it was. Did it give you motivation to start pushing out videos? Because you, you kind of slowed down in your videos yeah. a little bit. Yeah. A little, little bit. bit. A, lot, a little a bit. It was like two months <laughs> since you released one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Because I literally, literally, like a lot of people think I'm playing, like, especially like people like new to YouTube. Like, I'll literally, I'll go on YouTube and I'll check if you did a video. You know, I'm like, what the hell is going on? I even, I think I even messed you on Twitter maybe four months, four, maybe a month ago. And I was like, hey. I'm sorry. No yeah. new videos, man? <laughs> yeah. Um, and I wasn't quitting or anything like that, but I just, I, I thought you, I I thought you quit. No, I didn't quit. I never quit. I, I just, I was never making time because editing is a bitch. And like, I just, I was pushing, I, I can't just push them out as like, like, like that. But I think, uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to sync the audio. Cause I think, I think I can, uh, I saw them do this by the way, when they, they had a, they had a cable from their soundboard that went straight directly into their camera. And I see that camera has a microphone in yeah. Jack. So if I can figure out a way to just take the soundboard straight to the and sink it right in, sink it right nice. in to the recording, it save you a way, lot of time. It would save me so much time in the in the editing because I have to sync the audio, and I'm like that could that's a huge time saver. I'm like yeah I'll do it. I'm probably gonna look into that shit. And so, and and scheduling, scheduling yes. Oh yeah, I mean, we talked about yeah. scheduling right <laughs> right hour like an hour before. We... I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you have a backlog yeah. by now. Scheduling would be nice. Scheduling would be nice. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Nice. And so my my. My thing, whenever I first, before I even got on the plane, I, I told myself, I'm going to do it again next year. I'm going to do the $2,000 again next year. And then when I come back, I'm like, no. I'm not sure. I'm open to it, but what would be different is my question. Is like, But there would, there would be no IGN stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's the thing. Like It would, have, it would be a, a brand new experience. Like he would have to, that would be a whole brand new experience because without, I, you know, what was the whole IGN flow through? I mean, what are you oh, going to place it with? It was so it good. It was so good being an IGN and seeing all those IGN personalities. I was like, yeah. I mean, I, I that would be a place like where I, I thought I thought to myself like, who do I who do I need to suck off to work at IGN? Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm back to the swingers. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking, people. So he has to stay with I'm, the swingers. I'm, no, he's I'm fucking not, serious. No. He's serious. <laughs> I'm joking. No, uh, but he's not. You dead ass serious. <laughs> no. Uh, but um, so my whole thing is these guys, uh, as I was saying, they're they're on their grind and how much they're working. Like they're working so hard and they're like they're oh. making business calls. They're on their oh. laptop. They're doing uh, payroll and shit like that. And so my whole thing is why would I go back and do it again when they're likely to be busier? Because they're, if their business grows, if they have more subscribers and they have more content to make and they have all this and this and that, wh- what makes me think that I will have more on camera time because that's what I would want. I would want to go in there and do more stuff on camera with them while I'm there. Not well, just, why wouldn't you? What you think because they're busier? I mean, if you paid the money, I, I don't, I don't see why not. Why would they be busier? Wouldn't their business be more stable? Yeah, that's I mean, the same. I mean, without, without the whole IGN thing, wouldn't it? Well, see, that's the thing though. They were, well, Cause this is their only the second week of at the time when I was there they were there in the second week of uh of, because uh, this is his thing and not IGN's thing yeah, right okay yeah it's his thing he owns all the content he's he yeah he's everything yeah he's the it's a four man business it's him and the the other three and so they own kind of funny all of them well can I can I ask you a question sure what do you think he's doing with your money right now he's I'm like oh no like, he spent that money <laughs> as soon as I like as soon as I donated it like he oh, wow. bought a five thousand dollar camera and two thousand of it came from me. Shit, that camera was big. I was like, "Holy crap, that's so good!" I'm like, I took Maybe a picture. He's like, "Man, he, I should have saved three thousand more dollars. I could have bought myself this damn camera, right?" <laughs> no, nah, I mean, that's, but I the, the experience, they're, I'm they're, pretty sure. That, and they, like, it, like the lens like came apart and everything. It was like it was in this giant to- bag, like this, like a uh, tool, like a uh, like, like like people with their tools and stuff. They like they have the zip, a they tool zip, bag, a tool I, bag. Yeah, I guess that's what. You, that's what I it's called. I don't, I don't, I'm so hard it's, you know, you know, whenever we bag. were uh, working at the at the theater and Vincent had that big satchel thing that he had all his tools in, it was. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I, it was I don't as know big as that. It. I know what you're talking about. It though. was as big as that, and it had all these compartments for all the like, the camera just comes apart in like every which way, like this, like the lens and then the the main camera, the microphone part, like it's all these attachments and it's like zipped up and everything, and it was it looked pretty heavy. They had this huge ass tripod, like way bigger than that tripod I have. It was big and like. I got a picture of it, like right. I'll probably put a picture right here of it. I took a picture of their setup when they were doing the Twitch play. There was so much cord, so much wires. Um, just it was just so much. It was so much. I mean, damn. If this setup is like is anything, this is completely like this, but more cords, more wires, more everything. 
I think we'd have to move out the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, uh, get a little cramped in here. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, this, this, this is a nice, I mean, space. I mean, as, as, soon, as soon as you get Hollywood on us, I'm pretty sure we're going to be out of the kitchen. Yeah, I'll probably just make the garage like a, a studio apartment or like a studio. Wasn't so, your dad going to do something with he's that? He's going to make it a, a man cave, but I might. <laughs> He's just going to push, push him out there. Ex- ex- except for Saturday nights <laughs> when it's time to record video. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's my time. It's cave. my time. My, I'll, like, I'll have to book it and stuff. Like I had to book this kitchen like badly. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, because we'll, like, we'll like, mom was like, well, I, I'm trying to use the kitchen. <laughs> What are you going to do, cook? No. <laughs> no. Record video. Man, I, like, okay. I was, it was like I was watching Channel 3. I was waiting for something to happen. Like, I wanted to slap the <laughs> shit out of Lewis. I was ready to put you on World Star. Like, <laughs> like you're my friend, but you've been on World Star today. Oh, whatever. Man, I mean, okay, I talk to my mom in a certain way, but it's never gotten to the point where she's like, I like outright disrespect or anything like that. I just. He walked, bitch, I need the kids. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Really? <laughs> You're speaking hyperbole. Uh, but yeah. So, <laughs> I kind of did that. Kinda. You, came, you do, you came in, you came in like, like, like you do at this table. You came in like, you like stood over. Like, this oh, table, shit. one minute. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Like, he, could, he couldn't have been black. He wouldn't have made it. <laughs> he wouldn't have made it. Jeez, man. <laughs> But yeah, so that wraps up my topic. But your mom's cool. We all love you, mom. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. Inside joke. Okay. Uh.